Hello, my name's Mark from Treasure Hunt Scotland. We're back out uh, bottle digging. My oh my, it's a tough day, really tough day. So we're bottle digging, and I'm going to tell you why I've stopped. <laughs> I'll swing you around and show you. This bad boy here is why we've we'll stopped. We've started hitting big, massive, gigantic boulders down there. For me, I ain't picking stuff out like that. So yeah, that's the end of that hole. And. <clears throat> Not a lot to show for it, to be honest. Let's show you what we did get, which is quite heartbreaking. It was a McDougal Bonhill cod. <sighs> Doing nice. There we go, we've got another one, which is the thistle. Dying for one of them. It's another broken cod. Heartbreakers, isn't it? <clears throat> I did get the one, well, something close to what Derek got, and it's a Jai Horner and Co. Let's get a slight chip out of it, look at that, heartbroken, trademark Glasgow, big James Horner, that is, it's a beer bottle, oh, plain wine, back in the hole, just some bland bottles and stuff like that as well have come out, clay pipe, some of these have Lion brand on it, it's bland as well so it can go back in, I don't take any of these. Another bland one. Bland again. I'm looking for the Harleen from with the hair. Did get a nice big bottle stopper. Look at that. That's nice, eh? I like that. Nice big glass bottle stopper. I think we're going to have a cave in over there. <laughs> a lovely little AG Bar Glasgow bottle. That's a juice bottle. We've got more common sauces and things like that have come out. <laughs> a back in the day cup. They're mental, aren't they? Mad looking, I think they look dead funny. Yeah, nice. We've seen signs of flagons. So I'm pretty gutted about that hole, but it's maybe one to tackle another day when there's a couple of boys. I've seen big lips off of stuff. So it looks like there could be finds in this area. But yeah, it's just finding them. I've lost the bottle as well. I had a Singer sewing machine bottle, but we had a bit of cave in earlier on. So yeah, I'm going to trench a new hole and I'll catch you guys there. Yeah, I meant to say I forgot these two. I got a lovely little ink well. That one's not blue. It's just staining from the ink in it, I think. In fact, it's not. It's a blue ink well, I think. I don't know if it's a blue ink well, if it's slightly coloured blue, or if it's just. A normal link, we'll, we'll take it anyway. There we go, another full clay pipe, which is a Waldy. Yeah, I put a lot of these on my Etsy shop, so if anybody's ever interested in any of the finds, some of the finds I don't keep, some of them I just uh, pass on and I use them for petrol money. Well, not like other channels, we don't beg for money or anything like that in this one, but yeah, uh, we do sell the odd thing in Etsy and things like that. If any of you guys are interested, you can catch it on the front page of my channel. And uh, yeah, I like, always like to give something back if somebody's buying something, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is the Waldy Clay Pipe, so we're going to move on now and just see if we can find anything decent. Look what Andrew's just found in that hole. That's a big milk jug. Woohoo! Hole and everything. That's a beauty mate, that'll display nice. Well done. Yeah, well, Beautiful mate. And the next one out was a little blacking pot as well. Look at this that Andrew's threw out, it's a full head with the hands, look at that, that's beautiful isn't it? It's like a wee dolly's head or a, an ornament or something like that, it looks whole with a sat like that, see? That is beautiful, well done mate, that's a cracking find that. He's had some more finds as well, Ugh, nothing spectacular, tablespoons, med bottle, Scottish Wholesale Society cod. Of course, same old, it's broken, isn't it? And a lovely tile for a fireplace, look at that, that is beautiful. Remember them back in the day, eh? Some of you old timers. I meant to say, he's got a lovely wee teapot here as well, check that out. <laughs> Shame it's missing its handle, but yeah, a nice little teapot. He also got a nice big gin bottle, no writing on it, but yeah. Possibly a Dutch gin, it's another nice little find. So yeah, me and Andrew have decided to camp out tonight and what we're going to do is have a little bottle digging finale in the morning early 
And yeah, look at this fire. It's so crackly. Did you see that? <laughs> Absolutely amazing. It's playing up just for the camera. <laughs> Jesus. It's just, uh, this is willow coppicing trees as well. It's all dead wood. And it's just gone absolutely mental. Couldn't you just sit and watch your fire all night? It's just amazing to watch, isn't it? Look at this for a creepy head, eh? Imagine having him in your mantelpiece. He looks like the guy for the Goonies, doesn't he? Hey, you guys! <laughs> Check that out man, that is creepy. Anybody know who he was? There's a wee deer just hiding in here, look at him. Can you see him? Hello? Oh, Dead timid, look. And he's off. Well I had a dreadful second hole in there, I'm still filling this in, but look at the, the remainder of the ash, you know what I mean? It's absolutely fresh virgin ash and Nothing, absolutely nothing spectacular came from it. So yeah, there you go, look at that, full clay pipe. We'll get that cleaned up, not sure if it's the workman or... It certainly wasn't Andrew who found that anyway. Yeah, it is the workman, hey! And uh, two penny inks. Blander again. A very sick penny ink wheel. Sorry, not a penny ink wheel, it's a pen rest ink wheel, but it's uh, very sick. Eh, uh, sauce. Throw it back in. Not sure what this is, if any of you guys know what it is. I'd appreciate it. It looks like a leg or something like that. I don't know. If you know what it's off of, let us know. Back in. Don't know what that is either. It looks like part of a stopper or something like that. Little lid. And an AG butter bottle. That was the best. Full pipe was the best and that was nine feet in a second hole. It's bad, isn't it? Worse than bad. Let's walk over and see what Andrew's got. Well, he's got <laughs> clay pipes like they've got out of fashion. Look at that. Near enough hole. Get two whole ones. It's like a Waldy. More your 19th century, that one. And that. It says. I don't know if that's Alex. Alex. I don't know, you can see a name on that. I can't read it, but yeah. Here we go, look at that, a lovely AG bar, beer bottle, look at this, that's a beauty in it, AG bar Glasgow beer bottle, pickle jar, check that out man, hoods, sarsa, is it parilla, that's a lovely big bottle that in it, Lowell Mass, CT Hood and Co. We've got penny inks. No penny inks. Check this out. I don't know what these are. Can I remember asking somebody in previous videos, what are these? I've seen them before. I can't remember what they are, so if you know, let us know. Another very sick Scotch emulsion bottle. That's really sick. This one would have been... It's like... Cyber polish. And of course this one here is a wee beauty, I like this one. I'd have that in my collection. Look at that, Whitaker and looks like Grossmith, London. Beautiful off of a kind of amber brown glass. I don't know if that's a meds or not, but beautiful. We've just had a really bad day. Uh, well for me anyway. Little inkwell, look at this, he's got a doll's head. Oh uh, yeah, it's rusted, but a bit of generalite on that would get it off. But there you go, another full doll's head, woohoo! Get in on that note guys, it's been two days camping. Here with Andrew, and uh, not a lot to show for it. 
trains a lot of old holes just to make sure they were finished and they were so yeah on that note guys good luck happy hunting and yeah i'll catch you guys in another video soon bye for now